Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly. It's just the word. Allegedly. It's on the street. Allegedly. I sing to the beat. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Let's talk about the Housewives of Salt Lake City tagline. So apparently it's not them little psalms they had earlier. Up first is Lisa Balo, and I just realized Vita Takeda and Vera DeMilo sound very similar, but hers is, I'm on a mission to serve Lisa, and I love that for myself. Ooh. Heather's is, I own a beauty empire, so I don't need any of your lip service. Mm. Monica keeps her friends close, but her secrets closer. Meredith says, in a town full of dirty lies, everyone can use a bath. Worst, worst, worst. Angie says, I may be Greek, but don't expect an olive branch from me. Whitney says, having faith in myself is the only religion I need. Meh. I mean, dry. Dry. Lauren Hill was a last minute surprise for the Soho House anniversary. No, Lauren Hill just last minute. That's how you should sure have her show up as a last minute surprise. Don't tell nobody she coming till she there. That's smart. But apparently she had to miss a show somewhere else. Her management said the show was announced before production and other details were finalized or having a signed deal in place. So Ms. Hill was never confirmed to be a part of that event. Her agents were in talks with the organizers, but nothing came to fruition. Child, they was late for the meeting. I'm sorry, I won't believe anything else. Heffa Kamena has put out an apology, and I would read it, but you know what? We don't accept it. Your words are worthless, and we aren't as stupid as you. You really think we don't think that was racially motivated? You thought you could be slick and throw out a dog whistle insult. Girl, the Republicans have hurled that shit at us for years. We know what it is. It wasn't racially motivated. Like you weren't financially motivated when you got pregnant with Safari's children because you thought you was going to get that coin? Like you weren't financially motivated when you tried to get pregnant by DJ Envy because again, you needed three hots and a cot? You're pathetic and we don't accept your apology. I don't want you going on the Anla. I don't want you trying to say, oh, I've grown. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. And honestly, they need to put Evelyn Lozada right on with you because she's a feces too. In debt news, NeNe Leaks has been swindled in a car sale. NeNe has filed a warrant application and affidavit on April 12th, 2023 in Fulton County. She gave her car to a family friend who owned a dealership to sell in December 2022. He sold the car and never gave her the money. She asked in May that the hearing be pushed by 30 days. She said her cousin was working to rectify the matter and required additional time to do so. So the case has been dismissed, but damn, girl. See, why don't you put your family on blast? You got thieving cousins, baby mama drama from your son, and then we just waiting for the little raisin looking one to come out the closet. There's your plot line. There's your spinoff. We have Nee J Envy and Tyrese going at it over this interview. Tyrese thought he was going to go on The Breakfast Club and it was going to go well. Tyrese, you never really have interviews that go well because you're an asshole. And Nee J Envy is an asshole. See, Nee J Envy wants you to respect his wife more than he respects his wife because, again, he was humping on Heffa Kamena. He was copulating with crap. Fucking a face Tyrese, you aren't good at human relationships. You can't keep a friend. You can't keep a woman. I'm sure as soon as your kids can talk, they're going to whine about you too. You need to go on Ianla. You really do. Because you have piss poor priorities and low emotional intelligence. Well, I watched the last little speak on it, and she didn't have much to say. We opened with her talking about Tag's Boutique 
and she gave us a history of the franchises, basically letting us know I've never pretended and fronted to be a designer like Heffa Whitfield has. Ain't no scheme in my sheen. She said, yes, I am busy. I was quite busy this season, but you need someone busy on the show, someone that's working and actually rich rather than the fake and the fraudulent. I mean, there are lots of housewives that sit around and do nothing, but we also need to see someone with some get up and go. How long can we watch Sheree not water her grass? But they could have showed Kenya opening up her salon. Then we start talking about the beginning of the season and we get our Pachycephalus. And I have to say that was the most interesting moment of the season. We walked in with high hopes and they gave us tired tropes. She felt that they didn't talk about her doing the Wiz this year, and she shot a lot of scenes for that because they had already done her Broadway story last year. I wanted to see more of the Wiz, to be honest with you. She said, nobody makes me work. I've given them all the information that they need, and they've actually had to take some out because they said I gave too much of my life. I mean, let's compare what Sheree's given to what Candy's given. Sheree ain't shown us no new real man. We barely see Sheree's kids. I mean, we knew Riley so much we could tell Riley was sick of being on the show. Now, Cynthia gave divorce, marriage, and a bit of Noel. Candy gave fiance, death, new man, mama-in-law problems. The scheme that Todd set up, old lady gang. I'm sorry, Sheree, it took forever for us to get she by Sheen. But y'all gotta make Candy work. I mean, hell, we still have Mama Joyce going in on Todd at BravoCon. Sheree, where's your mama? Who's she going in on? Other than going in on you for putting her name on Chateau Thelma. Then she starts talking more about the escape stuff, and it's like, girl, we're here about housewives. You're speaking on it about housewives. We don't need to go over Tasha wearing the green dress. It was green like the money she stole from her sister and her sister still had to pay taxes on that 30000 I did not forget. Pepperidge Farm remembers. They won the Lady of Soul Award and they didn't even cover that. I feel like Bravo should have covered that. That's black excellence right there. I think it would have been awesome to have the housewives in the house. Like, that should have been, you know, a joint venture. They missed out an opportunity. Bravo should have been a sponsor. You take black dollars, give to some black causes. She said her favorite moment of the season was filming with Cynthia, and I could see why it was delightful and nostalgic. However, she said during the reuu, they actually read the text messages that Sheree received aloud, and they were much more incriminating. Well, why don't you tell us what was told on those text messages? Why don't you leak the lesbonics? But she felt it was a one-sided edit against her when they were talking about Sheree's pamphlet. It shouldn't be the She by Sheree news. It should be Sheree's pamphlet. It's more appropriate, more succinct. And I feel like the She by Sheree name is tainted at this point. Like an opened can of meat. Tainted. But I want to hear the lesbian secrets. I wonder if they're also Floridian. And she said she might sue Sheree for using her picture on her little pamphlet because Bravo wouldn't even show her picture. So watch out, Sheree. We know you like to play in court. She said, now, if I had taken a break, y'all wouldn't have gotten the petrocephalus moment. You wouldn't have really had any interesting things with no lip courtney. Marlo wouldn't have been able to scream, I refuse that! And come at me every chance she got. You wouldn't have had the movie with Drew and her lesbonic. So I was driving everybody's storyline, but people want to say, I need to work. I don't know what the show would have done without me, to be honest. And she kind of has a point. It was candy season. They were coming for her left and right. But Sheree, where was your plot line? Because you sure did come for candy. Where was your plot line? Because being up Marlo Amos was anus ain't it. You ain't did shit. Now, her producer asked an interesting question. She said, 
Do you think that the missing scenes that everybody is complaining about from Kenya to Yetta to Courtney, do you think they would have helped shown these people better? And Candy said, well, everybody's complaining about production, so I'm not going to do that. Because Candy's like, I'm about my check. I ain't saying it. I ain't doing it. Let Kenya get kicked off. And sadly, I think she will. Uh, she said it just depends on what story they want to tell. I feel like they left too much on the cutting room floor. We could have had extra episodes. Why couldn't you just have extra episodes? You had the material. We should have seen it. And we ended with her bringing back the dungeon party. If you want to flirt and squirt, she'll be having it sometime. I ain't getting paid to promote it, so I ain't telling you when. And that was the shit. And it was dry. Apparently dry like Erin likes her pussy, since she don't like it wet. That's probably why your husband looks so miserable. He got chapped dick. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, lee, lee, allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly.